Hey, hey everybody, it's Katie. Today you are going to see a video that I sped up quite a bit as I was creating a new piece of artwork for a show that I did last month. Uh, and I knew I wanted to create a couple larger pieces for the show based on the amount of space that I had. And I knew I wanted to make it really colorful because I do tend to um, kind of whitewash a lot of my paintings. I'll have a lot of layers underneath and then I will um, put quite a bit of white paint on top, which is just kind of my style and I really like it. Um, to me, there's a little bit of depth to it in terms of the meaning and um, letting some of our layers shine through and such. But with this particular piece, I wanted to play around and do something different. So what I did was I pulled out my bin of scrap paper. Um, I don't know if I would even call it scrap paper because to me these are just little treasures that I have saved along the way, um, little trimmings from some of my other pieces and um, things that I've saved and, and that kind of thing. Um, so they are very special to me, um, but uh, what I did was I just pulled them out and started piecing them together, as you can see here. And initially I wasn't quite sure um, how this was gonna end up. So I just kind of loosely taped things on, taped it together. And what I'm really trying to do here is come up with a composition that, um, that feels good and um, kind of all feels cohesive, but yet also a little like, whoa, at the same time, because I just really wanted to go bright. Um, which I think I did achieve here. Uh, so yeah, I, I just pieced all of these small segments together. I did use some PVA glue here at the end when I was, um, when I was ready to go ahead and adhere it. Um, I'm using some binder clips as well just to make sure everything is extra secure. Um, as you know, uh, a lot of different paper has, you know, different thicknesses, especially these pages here. So uh, it wasn't super easy to um, make everything lay flat like I wanted it to. So I'm just um, doing a combination of double stick tape, the PVA glue, some clips, um, just making sure everything is nice and secure. Um, and I knew I was going to end up framing this uh, piece, this as well as another one. I did two of these, which you will see here in a bit. Um, so I knew putting a nice crisp white frame behind it would really make these colors pop. And I just keep going at it little by little, lifting up um, each little section and making sure it's, it's super glued down. And this was actually really fun for me to pull out all these pieces. I know sometimes our overflow bin <laughs> can feel very full. We kind of just throw our scraps in there and um, we say we'll come back to it one day and whether we do or not, um, is always the question and I just pulled them out and I just think that um, again just a metaphor for life that like even even the pieces that may not be utilized right away um, can come back and be incorporated into a piece later on so it's all about timing and having the right components with each piece I did use a little bit of masking tape too on this piece but I like because it's um, you can see through it a little bit, it's transparent. Um, and then I added the bright pink shiny uh, bits there are is actually just duct tape. So once it felt pretty um, secure together, I flipped it over and then just went back again and taped it all down with some really thick masking tape just to make sure everything was extra secure. You can see some of my pages that I had saved are some old postcards that I had created. Sometimes the back of a piece is just as thrilling as the front. It has its own unique look to it. And I am working on the floor here because this piece is so large. And I encourage you to do this every now and then. When you need a bigger space to work, get down on the floor, get messy, spread out, get up close to your piece. It's kind of like being a kid again. Just enjoy it. All right, so just so at this point, I'm just gluing down the last little bits and I'll show you how it all comes together here. Put the mat board on it. And then I'm gonna do a one last wipe with a dry paintbrush to get any little dust particles off. 
And there you go. I'm really happy with how it all came together and I would highly encourage you to get into some of those scraps and put together a piece of beautiful artwork as well.